Okay, it is Mel from the future. Before this video starts, I'm right now editing it and figured that I should insert this clip to discuss the organization of these upcoming travel vlogs. So I did not plan for them to be this way. However, so much has happened during this trip, I figured I should break them up the way that I am going to. So this first video, the one that you're about to watch, is gonna cover the start of the trip all the way to Monday, so Saturday and Monday, and then the second video coming out is going to be Antelope Canyon. That, I think, deserves its own video. Um, there's a little clip at the end covering Horseshoe Bend, but yeah, that is half of Tuesday, so that is just going to be that video, that's all that it's gonna cover, and then the third vlog coming out is going to be the second half of Tuesday all the way to the end. So Tuesday, the end of Tuesday is second half of Tuesday to now Friday. So that's going to be the third vlog. That is also going to be covering Vegas. That has its own, that has a bunch of videos covering the new resort as well. So I figured I should be breaking it up in this way so it's organized and the people who want to see you know certain parts of my travel vlog get to pick which video they want to view or if they want to view all of them that is welcome too but yes i just came in here to tell you guys the organization of these clips that you're gonna watch but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video hey everyone i am back with another travel vlog i am just about ready to head to the airport got the fin on um, it's 3.42 right now and we're flying later tonight and this trip is going to be half national parks, half Las Vegas. So my family and I, plus my cousin, are going to go to the airport tonight to fly into Vegas and a couple days we're going to road trip out to like Zion and Bryce Canyon and all those other like rocky areas <laughs> and then my favorite the last half of the trip is going to be in vegas the last time i've been in vegas was in december 2019 so i haven't been back in the summer since i was like i don't know like eight years old or something and i definitely forgot about the heat but i 100 percent packed right this time the one thing that i packed wrong with for la was that it was colder than i thought i know how hot it's gonna be this time hopefully I packed right because it's going to be triple degree weather. It's 117 today over there, so had to air, how to make the airport outfit appropriate. Anyways, yes, first half is just a bunch of nature, and the second half is my favorite, Las Vegas, and we're going to be staying at Resort World. And that's going to be super exciting because it basically just opened a couple weeks ago, and it's going to be really new. But yes, I'll be vlogging that whole experience. Um, my past two travel vlogs, I've ended up breaking them up into separate parts. But we'll see for this one because I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging for Vegas anyways. Because I think it's just going to be like the same things that we're going to be doing any um, on those last couple of days. But yes, that is going to be what is happening for this trip. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a detailed like in my OOTD. I love airport outfits. I don't know. I just kind of think that it's like, I don't know. It's like a place to show your cute comfy clothes and that's my favorite. Cute and comfy. Um, so starting off the top, it's a TNA tank from Aritzia and these shorts are also from Aritzia. I don't really know what these are called. Um, it's made with their sweat fleece and these were on sale when I went into their store and I saw them together and I was like, okay, that is my outfit for the airport. I don't know why, but I just always like savor the outfits that I wear when I start a trip. I don't know. And then um, for my last vlog, um, episode three for Catalina Island, um, I showed that I was wearing all my bracelets and stuff that I wore on a daily basis, like out on the island. I ended up getting, um, the metal detectors didn't like that, so I just have my plain bracelet, and I have these necklaces and these earrings. I know that these won't get, um, triggered in the metal detectors, 
just because they're they're real so if you guys want to be wearing jewelry in the airport and don't want to have to like take off everything because that's what i had to do like i had to strip off all my bracelets in front of everyone um i suggest just wearing your real pieces and then save like your fashion jewelry for afterwards maybe you could just put it on after security or on the plane sometimes that's what i do that's why i like to keep them in my backpack as well so that's my little jewelry tip for you guys okay we're at the airport now unloading with my cousin Okay, we are now settled into the airport. Ooh, that is so bright. Anyways, um, something that I always do is get food at the airport so that I don't have to eat like the airplane food because that stuff's gross. But the things in the airport are good, I'll show you. My mom and I just got these poke bowls from this place called Trader Vic's. She got the regular tuna bowl. And then I got the spicy tuna bowl. I'm guessing this is soy sauce, I don't know. I've never really had soy sauce with my tuna bowl, but yeah. I always eat like lunch, and in this case it's dinner before actually boarding the plane. Okay, we're now at the hotel at Hilton, which is south of the Strip. We're just settling in now. My husband. <laughs> um, I need to do a little story time on the airport experience. So our plane got delayed by 20 minutes. We boarded um, 6.10 instead of 5.50 and we ended up departing at 6.40. But luckily the pilot made up some time and we got there at our original like arrival time and um even though we made up time it was like an hour waiting for a gate to open so we were just in the plane for extra time basically it was like a two-hour ride because we were just all sitting in our seats waiting and then it also took some time for the carousel the part where you get your check-in luggage it took a while for that to also get going and then we had to wait in line for shuttle bus to get our <laughs> rental car so a lot more waiting than it is for like lax which i didn't expect like expect but we were told that it was going to be like a very busy weekend in vegas so first there's a fight tonight with mcgregor and the guy from the u.s i don't really know how to say his last name but yeah that is happening tonight um kind of near us the south of the strip at the T-Mobile Arena. And then the, this weekend, there's gonna be a poker tournament. We were on a plane with the guy that's actually playing, so that was cool. So those two things are huge, and Vegas is just especially busy this weekend. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is the next day, <clears throat> and we just had Burger King for breakfast. We're driving now to the next hotel near Zion, where later we're gonna hike the Narrows, and we're driving down, what is this, Las Vegas Boulevard? Ah, and then you see That's gonna mess up everything. Strip, my favorite part. And it's already like 100 degrees and we're supposed to be hiking, so I don't know how that's gonna work. We're just gonna play it by the ear. Yeah, maybe we're just gonna stay there for an hour. We'll see.
gonna make my choice. I'm gonna make some noise in my life, baby. They gonna watch my words, ain't gonna write my verse. I'm gonna make this yours before it's mine, baby. And it was, oh my God, the walk here was horrible. It was so hot. I was literally dripping sweat already on the bus to go to like the entrance area. But I feel like we walked like kind of a mile in 100 plus degree weather. So I, we're not gonna go any farther from he than here. But yeah, this is just like the opening of the Narrows. And we're just gonna enjoy the place here. And it's cold water, thankfully, so. We're kind of relaxing now. Okay, so we finished our hike a little bit ago and now we're eating at this restaurant called the... Um, Zion Brewing. Zion. Yeah, it's a brewery. Yeah. No, it's I think Zion Brewer. Oh, it's Zion Brewer, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, Zion Bre Brewery. Yeah, okay. We burned a lot of calories on that hike, but we were 100% gaining it back. I almost ate an entire platter of onion rings for my Show it. And now I have a burger, <laughs> fries, and yeah. burger. This is it. There you go, guys. Look at that. How many calories is that? <laughs> 1,500. 1,500. Um, yeah, jalapeno, bacon, jam, And then you have a chimichurri fries. Chimichurri fries, which are really good. Like, I don't even need any ketchup or anything. That's what we're eating. So, you, you want to recommend this place? Yeah. Is it good? It's just a lot of fries. <laughs> Their onion rings are good, right? Yeah, the onion rings are pretty good. Like. They're just fly everywhere. I don't know why. Hello, everyone. It is the next day. It is now. What day of the week is it? What day it is? Monday. Oh yeah. So it doesn't go that high. Yeah. It's 
like grandkid in your kind of Okay, we've made it to Monument Valley. This is it. We just stopped over here on the side of the road. Yeah, we're just taking pictures now. I'm on it.